Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to 3D model a hinge. We are going to first start a 2D sketch on the XZ plane. We are going to select rectangle and make it 50mm by 100mm. We are going to fillet the two corner edges to 10mm and leave the left side untouched. Next, we are going to extrude our sketch by 2 millimeters. Then we are going to start a sketch on the front face of the extrusion. We're going to also do another rectangle, 4 millimeter by 2 millimeter. And then we are going to do a circle. We're going to dimension that circle to be 8 millimeters and make it vertically aligned with the left edge. So use the vertical constraint. There we go. And then we are going to do an inner circle up until the corner left edge. Then we are going to do a horizontal line and make it 0 0.5 millimeters away from the top surface. Now we are going to extrude the sketch, leaving the small gap untouched. We're going to extrude it by 25 millimeters and set it the other way. And then we are going to use the rectangle pattern tool. We'll select the second extrusion and select it along the direction of the left edge. And we are going to space it by 50 millimeters and do two of them. Then we are going to add a fillet to the inner edges. The fillet is going to be two millimeters. then we're going to add the holes for the screws. So we're going to do three points. So the left point, we're going to do 15 millimeters from the left edge and 15 millimeters from the bottom. And then we're going to set it horizontally aligned for the right point. And then set the middle point vertically aligned to the center of the piece. The center point is going to be 30 millimeters away from the bottom edge. And then again, the right point is going to be 15 millimeters away from the right edge. And then we're going to use the whole tool and set it to five millimeter diameter. Now we're going to change the appearance. We'll use knurled 45 and save the part. Now for the second part, we are going to create the rod to connect the two hinges. The rod is going to be 2 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And then we're going to add a small piece to the bottom and top, 4 millimeters by 2 millimeters. And then do the same thing on the top. We're going to use the revolve tool to extrude it. There we go. And lastly, we're going to set a one millimeter radius fillet. We're going to save the exact same appearance as the other one, knurled 45. Now go to your saved parts. So upload 
part one. And we'll use we'll need two of part one. Change the visual style to shaded with edges. Here's the second one. We're going to rotate it to align it. So rotate it 180 degrees. And then constrain the center axis of the two parts. And then we need to connect the two, and we'll use the mate constraint. There we go. And then lastly, we have to insert our rod to connect the pieces. So we'll align the two axes. and then mate the two faces. And there we have it. That's how you 3D model a hinge. Thank you for watching.